he actually was slightly on his own. And he said that time as he was catching the tail of this group that it had his own into Nissan warfare that's led to Gary Pearcy uh, having to drop out of the group, having a little bit of frontal damage, having hit the back of the AC Cobra, number one Cobra of Darren Turner. And now look, Mike Whitaker is right on the tail of Bill Shepard a few laps ago. That's really like who said the fastest lap last time? Mike Whitaker, one minute twenty-five point nine. More than a second faster than Shepard. That's why he's on the tail of the 47 Cobra. Did Shepard go too fast too soon? He certainly put very, very hard on the opening lap, trying to keep up with Nick Minassian sideways off the start. Kaduri is getting some ground again, isn't he? And uh, we have Whitaker's all over now the back of the Shepard car. As this car, the number 16, the Tajiro Ford, begins to make a little bit of an escape. It's 1.3 seconds to the good going on to this lap. Yeah, this is perfect for Nick Manassian out front. This is exactly what he wants to see in his rear view mirror. His closest oh, rivals tripping over one another as Whitaker gets very sideways on the outside of Lavin in his hunt for Bill Shepard in the Cobra for second place. Kaduri had a massive moment coming into the approach to uh, St Mary's, locked his brake, slid really wide, but he's held it together. You know what, after that clatter, he lost a lot of events. We worried he might have had tracking problems or a puncture, but that Kaduri down in the 12th place now just set his fastest lap of the race. So clearly, all is fine. He's recalibrated, pressing on. But you're quite right. Sam Minassian has uh, just made... Well, let's see what his advantage goes down to. It's about 1.3 seconds last time in the lead. Must be nearer to 2.3 seconds. And because, why, why? Not only is Bill Shepard having trouble staying in second place, trouble lapping at the same pace, but now he's being really, really pushed. And uh, I think within, within two more corners, possibly underneath your feet, Marcus, the TBR surely will be going to second place. Yeah, Shepard having to go really defensive into Madrick at turn one. That forced him wide on the exit of that corner, giving Whitaker a run down into Fallwater. He can't make the inside line stick. The Cobra has the legs on the TBR, but then side by side, Shepard around the outside into No Name. And with you now, Marcus, yeah, into St Mary's. So he had the legs, but not when the TBR was on the apex. He couldn't run right on the outside. And uh, uh, we've got Greensall now there in the Tiger, uh, just right behind him. And uh, wait, but in the Lister as well. Four car group now, the chase. As the, on. as the TBR was fighting with the Cobra, Greensaw came with so much more momentum into the second part of St Mary's. I thought he was going to side the path the two of them, but unfortunately the track was more than occupied. And now it looks as though the escape has been made by the driver who was fastest in the race last time. Just a whisker off his best qualifying time. Think about that in the mix, the heat of this battle. While still the little thing in his brain still getting tyre preservation, but it's not saying that at the moment. This is the thing, you have to be so careful as a driver when you're sizing up the gap ahead and you're tempted to sit in the car up the inside. You have to remember that these cars waft across the road far more than modern machinery. And you need to allow for that, otherwise the envelope is going to close very quickly on the apex. And may I say, yes, yesterday evening you were doing precisely that in the Sussex Trophy. Brilliant, brilliant run at the front, but the TBR starting to stretch clear. Another fastest lap for it last time around. So Whitaker into second place, but oh, has he got a problem? Let's had a bit of as the replay. Here we go. So I look down from the screen for a second. What a brilliant move into St Mary's, and look, they gave each other just enough space, but certainly seeing Patrick, uh, Nigel Greensaw getting closer and closer in the, in the Lister Tiger in behind, diving up the inside, but not making it work into Lab, and if he gets it wrong, he's suddenly got Fred Waitman looking to pounce.